Good morning, everyone. We have breaking news this morning. A bus crash on a Saline County highway on I-30 has left dozens of people hurt. Good morning, I'm Suzanne Bruner. And I am Aaron Nolan. One child has died, 40 transported to the hospital with injuries. Arkansas State Police telling us all this. Isabella Moore has been there on the scene this morning. Isabella, you just got that latest news. What else can you tell us this morning? Good morning, guys. I'm going to step out of the way as I start to talk so that you guys can see what's actively going on. But we did just get all the information uh, that we're going to get for the time being. We know that one child has uh, has died in this accident and then 40 other people, most of them being kids, are injured and they have been taken to area hospitals in Little Rock and then also in Benton. We know this happened right at 2.40 this morning uh, and it's been an active scene ever since then. We're at exit 111 on Interstate 30 heading into eastbound we know that this exit has since been closed and no one can get down this uh, right now what we're waiting to see is where this bus exactly is we know it's down an embankment on this other side I know you're kind of looking into the dark but we know that it's down that embankment we've seen several troopers walking up and down this exit trying to figure out how this bus could have gone off the road we've seen them looking at tire marks again just trying to figure out how this bus went off the road and into this embankment how this crash happened you can see some of those troopers are out there with flashlights in the distance. Again, I know it's dark, um, but just trying to paint this scene for you guys. They're down there trying to figure out how it went down there. We see several fire departments still out here, Arkansas State Police, uh, just waiting to see when this bus will be pulled from the embankment. So right now, it's a wait and see game, but we do know that unfortunately one child has been killed and we know that at least 40 others have been taken to local hospitals for their injuries. Live from the scene, Isabella Moeller, back to you. All right, Isabella, thanks. And we do have a look at what the scene looked like, Aaron. I think you wanted to show viewers. Yeah, well, you know, this is something that we continue to get, and, and you've talked on the phone with, with coaches. You actually had a chance to talk to a coach uh, out of Memphis, Tennessee, I telling did. you exactly where this bus was coming from and to. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, when, when something like this happens, we have a lot of messages coming in on Facebook. A grandmother reached out as well as a, a coach who had reached out to us. I spoke with him on the phone. He told me he was actually on his way to Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. so Several football teams were on this bus, uh, a little league football team. They were down in Dallas playing in a tournament. Um, some of the kids on this bus, all of them ranging in ages of 9 to 12 oh years old. Um, and again, unfortunately, we hear one child has passed away. From all right, so crash. let's show you exactly where this is. Morrison, if you'll follow me over here to our smart board, I want to show you exactly what this looks like right now as far as the map is concerned. So you're taking a live look at the scene behind us, but here is that exit ramp. This is Interstate 30. This would be back into that Dallas, Texas area. This would be going to Central Arkansas. Of course, you would jump on 40 there going to Memphis, so Dallas to Memphis. This is the area that we believe that bus actually left Interstate 30, began to make its way onto uh, Highway 70, and then had a crash. Arkansas State Police telling us the crash actually the bus did overturn. Uh, so very interesting exactly where that was. I wanted to show you that real quick here as I drive Arkansas. You can see that access road there is blocked off. There are a little bit of traffic concerns there, but taking a look at Google Maps, you can really see what ha happened, the exact location there. So uh, again, Interstate 30, the bus traveling this way towards Central Arkansas leaves the road, according to Arkansas State Police, flips over. So Suzanne, as we're looking at this, you know, these are like pieces of a puzzle that continue to develop, and we get this information, and we just want to bring it to you as we get it. Uh, but again, we can report one child has died. Extremely tragic news this morning. It is.